Once I wouldn't say it, would I? Once you wouldn't. No. Goodbye. It's Symphony. I hope you enjoyed the machinima. So before we get into gameplay, I'm going to go over a little bit of the backstory and don't worry, I'll leave timestamps like if you just want to quickly get into the gameplay. So just look below and the timestamps will be there. Okay, guys, so this is Tatiana. Today is actually her 30th birthday. So she caught her husband cheating on her and got kicked out on her 30th birthday. How messed up is that? Okay, so just a little background about her and her husband's relationship. They actually met when they were 14. They literally met the very first day of their freshman year of high school and they got together their very first day. Like her husband saw, well her ex-husband saw her and immediately wanted her and she was like, boy, if you don't go, it is literally the first day of school. And he was like, okay, bet, bet you, bet we're gonna be together by the end of the day. They was together by the end of the day. Homeboy hair risk. Let's just, let's just put it like that. So yeah, their relationship was actually very lovey-dovey. They loved each other so much. They were so deeply in love. And for 14 out of 16 years together, there was no hardship. And then, you know, when they started struggling with infertility, everything just went sour. And I don't know what's wrong with her ex husband I don't know why he's treating her this way. Like, homeboy must have forgot just how deeply he in love with her he was. But that's why, you know, he just gave our girl the kick in the butt she needed to get her life together. So right now she is currently at a homeless shelter and y'all want to know what's funny is that she has like a support system. She has two best friends who are very successful. Her best friend Lana is like on her way to becoming the youngest CEO at 30 and her best friend Ava is a very successful painter and even her parents would be willing to take her in as well. Like they love her. She's their only child. They love her so dearly. But she is, um, yeah, she's embarrassed. She doesn't want to call anybody or tell anybody what's going on because nobody has seen her in over a year. Like, nobody knows that, like, this is what she looks like, that she's kind of, like, you know, let herself go because of depression and all that stuff. And she just, she's embarrassed and she's ashamed. And even though she doesn't, you know, even though she shouldn't be, she is, you know, it's just, just one of those things, just how people are. So she really wants to just try to get her life together before she tells anybody what's going on so right now we're kind of just like doing a rags to riches type of thing like although she has friends and family we're probably not going to be seeing them for a tiny little bit because she really wants to lose some weight get an apartment before she reaches out to like her friends and family and tells them what is going on with her so right now we're just going to be doing the rags to riches part she's currently at a homeless shelter and we're going to be trying to like get her a job and get her money for a down payment on an apartment and just work out girl, work our way out of this out of this homeless shelter so yes yeah, so that is just a little background on our character she has two best friends her parents love her like crazy her ex-husband is an a-hole you know he gave us a kick and butt that she needed to get herself together so she's about to you know glow up like like he never could have imagined so thank you for giving her the push she needed to get back to her regular self and glow up like crazy and he gonna be eating his words that he said to her and now let's get into this gameplay so as y'all can see she is a uh, oh she is very angry flirty spouse because you know she called her man cheating and then angry <laughs> aggravating conversation yep i bet it was and uh divorce Sad, yeah although she does kind of like hate her ex you know yeah y'all gotta remember they was deeply in love so like it's very complex like on one hand she hates him but on the other hand it's like you know we were together for 16 years you know like he's literally the one and only man she's ever been with so 
very complex situation yeah let's get into this shall we let's see what she needs nothing but she got a hundred dollars you know what girl i know you only got a hundred dollars but you've been through some things you know what you need you need a drink <laughs> you need a drink girl let's get you a drink all right y'all so we didn't left the homeless shelter we is at the strip club because my girl deserves a drink okay she done been through an ordeal. Listen, I know you shouldn't drink your problems away, but listen, my girl deserves a drink. She ain't an alcoholic, but she deserves one today. Get her a vodka soda. She deserves it. Poor girl. Look at her. Just sad. Oh, my girl. Where you at? Wait. Nothing but wall. Hello. Where you at? Girl. girl. Just got me walking into walls. Ah, nope, sir. Oh, my girl. <laughs> so, meet jake more he sees our girl is just so sad and he's like oh what's got her so sad let's do a funny introduction try to cheer her up a bit he's like hey how you doing like i see you like you okay you seem you seem kind of down try to make her laugh jake following trace about brandon retiree who cares we trying to get to know jake jake Say hello to the girl. Did you say hello to her? Talk about cloudy weather. You know what, Shorty? <laughs> he don't know what to talk about. He's like, I've never been in this situation before. Got a woman over here who just looks so sad. Just so, so sad. Oh. Yes, Jay. Cheer her up. Do something. Tell her. Oh, you know what? Yeah, tell her a funny story. She's like, oh, yeah. Great. That's great. <laughs> she is just not interested. She just wants some ball with her misery drink her drink and this guy just keeps trying to cheer her up yes try to cheer her up and drake is like i just can't see a woman just so sad like tell me your problems what's going on like you okay what's happening and she's like oh you know like i'm just going through something she's like i'm just going through something you know I caught my husband cheating today. We got a divorce. And he just, he kicked me out and got nothing but $100 to my name. And he's like, oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Like, what a piece of, you know, what a jackass. Share photos. You know, give her a heartfelt compliment to cheer up. He's like, listen, I know I don't know you and all, but you don't need him. Like, you seem like a smart woman. She's like, oh, how nice. That's so sweet. Let's see how she's. Oh, oh, look at her! Look at her! She's full of confident. Jake! Jake! You got a girl out here feeling confident. She's like, okay, look, look at this fine dude talking to me. I mean, I know he's only talking to me because I'm sad, but still. <laughs> like, it made your girl feel good. So, why don't you give him a little thanks for, uh,. Check in on Jake. Okay, you know what? Have a deep conversation with Jake. <laughs> I know he's a stranger and all, but you know what? You need to talk to somebody. You can't talk to your friends because you're embarrassed. So go ahead and talk to Jake. Tell him your life story. You know. She's like, you know what? Forget my ex. I'm finna get my stuff together. I'm finna start working out. Oh, look. And Jake just told her he's active. He's like, oh, if you want to start working out, we could work out together. You know, I'm actually a personal trainer. She's like, oh, yeah? Like, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind you being my trainer. I mean, we all know each other, but, like, you know, sure. I'm really trying to get myself together. Uh, I ain't got money for personal training. Just to let you know, girl, where you going? Oh, she going to go pee? Yeah, you, girl, you go pee. And then come back and talk to Jake some more. <laughs> Let's see how Jake is feeling. What he's thinking? Deep connection. Oh, what you look at that? Look at that. Oh, and look, he's happy he cheered her up. Jake. Jake, let me find out you a good one. Let me find out you one of the good ones, Jake. He's like, saw a woman who was sad, got her, cheered her up a bit, and possibly got a new client for his personal training, even though she just told him she ain't got no damn money. And he's like, okay, that's cool. I got you. I got you. Wait, where? Oh, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. It is 3 a.m., bro. All right, come back and continue talking to him about this personal training he was talking about. Talk about the rain. Propose crazy scheme. Yes, propose a crazy scheme. Tell him you want him to be your personal trainer. But you ain't got no damn. <laughs> you ain't got no money, though. 
tell him like listen i really could use the help but just let you know i ain't got no money <laughs> after buying that drink i only got 88 dollars to my name <laughs> he's like that's cool that's fine you know like i i just want to help you out like i'll i'll be your personal trainer you ain't gotta pay we can just talk work out it's fine and she's like okay so when we when should we start this thing? He's like, okay, well uh, maybe tomorrow. She's like, oh no, oh no, I need um, <laughs> yeah, I need a day to wallow in my misery before we get started working out. So tomorrow is no good. It's literally 4 a.m. I'm gonna head on out, and yeah, I guess I'll you know let's exchange numbers and I'll hit you up when I'm ready to get working out. Let's get his number. Yeah, ask about his career and then get his number. What the? Jake's a head mixologist and make a dish. Oh, right. Yeah, he's also a bartender, which is why he's here. Because, like, his shift is next after hers. So, that's why he's here. He's a personal trainer and he's also a bartender. So, yeah. All right, girl. Well, you got you and girl. Okay, look at you. First day out after being in the house for two years. And look at you. You didn't already met a fine dude. But he, you know, he look a little young for you, so I don't know about that. But you you met a fine dude. You got you a personal trainer. And look, things is already looking up. They already looking up, girl. I know that's right. All right, let's head on, head on back to the homeless shelter and get you some rest because you is tired, girl. You is tired. And then tomorrow, well, I guess later on today, you're going to have to find some way to make some money. Oh, y'all, y'all know what I wish? I wish there was like a Uber Eats mod for her to do like Uber Eats, like gig work. You know what? There is like gig work available. Let me see. Maybe she could do one of those. What the? Oh, I'm gonna say, what's going on with her? All right, girl. Let's go on over here and get you to bed. What in the, are you passing out right now? You better not be passing out. Play in the rain. Okay, I mean, if it'll make you happy, go ahead. Do what you do. What you do. All right, you know what? Just because the yellow and yellow represents happiness, go ahead and sleep here. What you doing? You better not be showering in the rain. Girl, would you, what is you, what is you, what is this? Oh, I thought you was eating garbage. I was gonna be like, okay, I know, I know you falling on hard times, but girl, can we not? Can we not eat garbage? You got a whole homeless shelter over here that has a cafeteria. Like, can we please? Can we please? Ay ay ay. Oh, girl, that's a little Yeah, no, that's a little too hot for the homeless shelter. Let's uh <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> we gonna have to uh, you know what, you ain't got no clothes yet. It's all it's all you got is the clothes on your back. So you have to sleep in that for a while. Sorry, girl. I know it's not nice to sleep in your outside clothes, but that's all you got. All you got is the clothes on your back and eighty-eight dollars. All right, y'all. Our girl is having a quick shower in the uh, homeless shelter. I don't know which which shower is she in. Oh, she's in that one. Yeah, she's having a quick shower because you know one of the things her ex made sure to tell her he was disgusted by was the fact that she barely showered anymore. And she's like, okay, bet, bet, bet. Guess who will be showering every day now? Just, just you watch. Just you watch. And then we're gonna come over to the cafeteria and get her something to eat. Where's all the workers that work here? Ain't nobody here. Girl, I know you hungry, but you know what? While you waiting on the cafeteria food to get ready and for the workers to get here, let's uh... Let's look for something for you to do for work and make some money. Y'all, she has no life skills. She don't know how to make money, where to even go to begin to make money. Uh, girl, <laughs> you might need to hit up one of your friends and be like, oh, I'm just out of curiosity. How does one make cash? <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Career? No. You ain't got no skills to get hired at a career just yet. So let's let's get you some freelance work or something. 
Hmm. You know what? Okay, let's register with the Ministry of Labor and see what that does. Uninstalled. Left, right, up, and down. Dislikes video games. Okay, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> Nobody told you to go play it anyways. Uh, what's your... Nothing. You ain't got nothing going on. Okay, so never mind. What in the... Where is you going? Go cook us some food. Hello? Yo, my mans, we need food. What you doing? Where is you going? Go cook us some food. Like, I know this is a homeless shelter, but we still deserve to eat. Excuse me. Like, excuse me? Oh, my goodness. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Where is he going? You know what? Whatever. While he's doing that, anything? Die for deals? You know what? Yeah, go die for some deals, girl. <laughs> Where is this fool going? Sir! Are you kidding? Come cook us some freaking food! Oh, I uh, no. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? This dude really dipped without cooking us any food. Like, are you serious? Like, that's not cool. That is not cool, man. Okay, dive for some more deals. Listen, I know it's not pleasant, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe there's some money up in there. Check check all the jeans and pockets and whatnot. Yes, girl. Get them deals while you can. You gotta do what you got to do. I know it's not pleasant. Found refurbished dining table. Oh, girl, this, <laughs> we don't know what to do with that. Find some money, some type of coins, something. Oh, oh, she found money. She found money. Yes, Tatiana, you found forty two dollars. I know that's right. Listen, girl, you did what you had to do, girl. That's right. That's right. Who ain't gonna melt to what? Yo, he better actually cook. Oh, okay, I know that's right. Girl, go get you some food. Order some food. Hell no, nah, that's supposed to be free. This is a homeless shelter. Order some food. Bruh, it's a homeless shelter. It's supposed to be free. Huh, okay, what can you get? You know what? You're trying to lose weight, so we're gonna get you a salad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. I know. I know. Salads are no fun, but you know what? You're trying to get on the good foot. You're trying to get yourself back together. So, yes, yeah, salad it is. Yeah, you heard us. We want a salad. Get your food. Oh, okay. Well, while she's doing that, let us let's introduce y'all to her friends. So, let's meet them friends. This is L Lana. This is her best friend, Lana. She is married to Hector Gomez. Fun little fact about Hector. He actually is a self-made billionaire. Yes, y'all heard that right. Billionaire. He started an app. It blew up. He sold it when he was only 22. But he met Lana when he was 30 and she was 26. So, she's now 30. So, yeah. And what Tatiana doesn't know is that Lana is actually... She just found out she was pregnant. And she hasn't told anybody because she doesn't even know how to feel about it because you know lana is like a high-powered businesswoman she's all about her career she really wants to make ceo before she started popping out any babies but she just found out she was pregnant and she'll not feel about it especially because she knows what her bff tatiana has been through so she's like oh do i really have like do i really deserve to feel some type of way about being pregnant when i know how badly my best friend wants to have a baby and now here i am pregnant and i don't even know if i want it so yeah, she's like she's going through some things. Like she really she just wants to focus on her career and become CEO, but now she's pregnant and her husband is so excited. She's just like, uh, I don't know how to feel. Ah, <sighs> Lana, I feel you girl. Like listen, you are you deserve to feel how you feel. I know you feel for your girl, for your best friend, but like, you know, if you're having mixed emotions, you're having mixed emotions, like you deserve to feel how you feel. So that's Lana. And here is our baby, Ava. Ava Green. She is a lesbian. She is an artist, 
a very famous artist but what a lot of people don't know about Ava is that she's actually an underground anonymous graffiti artist as well who's also very famous but nobody knows it's her people have been trying to figure out who this graffiti artist is for forever she's been doing graffiti since she was a teenager and everybody's been trying to figure out who she is and she's like nope y'all ain't never gonna know I'm gonna stay anonymous forever right now she's currently single because she's actually she believes in like she's also a free spirit and kind of a hippie so like she doesn't believe in monogamous relationships she's all about like the poly life she doesn't believe people should be tied down to just one person everybody should be free to love and whoever they want to love so right now she just you know she's on her um poly life not being tied down to anyone just enjoying life i know that's right ava you do you girl and she is absolutely killing it and this is her dad this is tatiana's dad he is a high school graduate. He loves the outdoors. He's family oriented because he loves his baby girl. Like if anybody hurt his baby girl, he'd be ready to wreak havoc. He is also a manual laborer. Oh, right. Fun little fact about Tatiana and her crew. They all grew up lower middle class. And one of the reasons why they all kind of like flock to, flock to each other, you know, her, her ex-husband, her two best friends, they all kind of like, you know, got along really well because they all agreed on the same thing, which is that they didn't want to be lower middle class you know they wanted to make it out of not necessarily poverty but like basically borderline poverty they was like no nah, like when we grow up we gonna make it we gonna we gonna all you know do our thing tatiana was gonna become a lawyer thomas was gonna become a professional athlete lana always wanted to be a businesswoman ava was like bitch i'm gonna be selling out galleries for my um artwork and the thing is everybody but tatiana pretty much achieve their goal you know Thomas is a famous athlete Lana is a high-powered president of a co company on her way to being CEO Ava people be people be climbing over themselves to get Ava's paintings and poor Tatiana she just she just feels like she's been left behind you know like she thought okay well if I couldn't have the career at least I can have the family and she don't even have that anymore so she's just ah poor Tatiana I feel for you girl don't you worry don't you worry, Tatiana. We gon' we gonna get things turned around, girl. What's her mom? I don't know. Here's her mom. Yeah, okay, here's her mom. Dow, don't she look just like her mom? She looks just like her mama. And her daddy. She's a great mixture of them both. Yeah, her mom is a retail employee. She works at the Buy Mark Shack Company Inc. <laughs> and yeah, her parents have just like she really like one of the things she regrets the most is that because she didn't like you know become and get her own money that she didn't be she she wasn't able to like retire her parents and that's the one thing she really wanted to do because like she saw how hard her parents worked to barely make ends meet and she really hoped that like when she got older and became successful she would be able to like you know get them to relax and re to retire but nope they're still working unfortunately which is another reason why she doesn't want to go crawling home because she's like oh like i even hate that like she hates the fact that they're not retired and just enjoying life so like to have to go home and have them take care of her when she's a grown woman in her 30s now and yeah she just uh poor, oh tatiana tati the more i talk about your life the more i feel for you girl but don't you worry we gonna get you together like look at you like you got a place to stay like look you ain't you don't know nothing about homeless shelters but yet you found one and like you just do you're doing your thing girl you're doing your thing so it's, it's all good it's all good now we need to find you something to do for work you managed to scrummage 42 dollars out of the bin but uh yeah we gonna need more than that so let's see if we can find you a job shall we stop listening to music girl go start submitting applications We'll see if you can get a job at uh at McDonald's or something. All right, y'all. We gon' she ain't got no degree. She ain't got no life skills. So she gonna have to, you know, get herself a job working at the most, you know, where they hire anybody. <laughs> Which is a fast food employee. Listen, no, listen. We don't knock nobody's hustle around here. Do what you got to do, baby. Like, if it pays the bills, it pays the bills. Go ahead and submit you an application and see if you get hired. Oh, snap. You got it. You got the job. You got... Girl, I know that's right. Look, look at you. Look. Listen, I know. Listen, girl. We started from the bottom, but we working our way up. I know that's right. 16 an hour. Oh, you got working 13 hours. Okay, that's crazy. All right, y'all. 
so this is just gonna be a quick introductory episode like we met Tatiana we got to see her life fall apart but you know what when one journey ends another one begins she met Jake's fine self who was about to be her personal trainer where he at yes Jake let me see did you get any sentiments with Jake's <gasps> proceed is very I bet you do I mean look at him look at this man mm, y'all okay our girl is already starting off on the good foot she got a job she met a fine man who's about to be her personal trainer and she's just about to turn her life around I mean yeah she's living at a homeless shelter right now but you know she's about to save them coins and try to get her a place so yeah that's gonna be the end of this episode and in the next episode we gonna work on you know stacking them coins and hopefully finding her a place so she can get out of this homeless shelter <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. I will see y'all tomorrow.